Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals and this is a journal that I had made for me but another one that I'm actually going to be putting in my shop. So this one is available via email for anyone interested. I made it in the same style as my previous art journals and because I love these art journals so much, I made myself a whole bunch of new art journals. So I've got quite a lot of them on my shelf and I just realized yeah i i don't need that many <laughs> i've actually made myself this new one recently um and i figure i don't need five other art journals while i still haven't started one so <laughs> i'm going to part with uh these two and another one which i'll share later on as well uh, but as for this one gorgeous fabric i just love there's something about as you can see, I have a thing for sweet floral fabrics, especially with blues and pinks. I love blues and pink together, like the floral combination. Um, so you can see there's a, a bit of a theme happening here. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I've, I've already created this one. I don't need to. So I'm going to part with this one. And I've actually made another one. I think I made two others like this. And they sold last year, I believe really really sweet fabric it's just gorgeous isn't it i love it um so yeah let's have a look at this journal i'm i literally made it for me so all of the pages are the pages that i love bookend papers vintage ledger all the same size all blank in that art journal style and i was i was really um actually considering taking it apart and putting the pages into my new journal cover um, because I love this, these pages. I, you know, I handpicked each one to go in here with the intention to use it as an art journal. But then I thought, okay, no, let's just keep it as it is. Keep it as this beautiful treasure journal with all my favorite pages, each one hand selected. Um, and I think there's such a variety, like every page is different. I love that for an art journal. I love that for a junk journal. Um, and so my absolute favorite pages are in here, favorite combination of pages too. So I thought, let's just keep it um, and someone can get a real treasure. <laughs> this is lovely textured paper. Oh, it's like my favorite. Oh my goodness. I love vintage ledger so much. It is my all time favorite paper. And all these papers, like these have come from ledgers that I've sourced from around the place over the years. So it's very special. I love this one too. One of my favorite ledgers. Um, so yeah, I really hope this goes to a, a wonderful home. Um, lo lots of vintage pages in this one. Um, my new one doesn't really have as many vintage pages. Um, and I love that it starts with a gorgeous book page. They're some of my favorite pages to use. Uh, the front and back pages of actual books. I just love that connection because I'm a I'm a book reader. I love books. I, I read books before I journaled. <laughs> um, so I think my dream journal would be like all vintage ledger mixed with all book pages from vintage books, like blank ones. That'd be so cool. I love that idea. I've never thought of that idea before. I've done ones just of book pages. In fact, my very first art journal I believe it was my first art journal. Was it this one? I created this only using the front and back pages of um, books. Um, there might be a couple like vellum pages and stuff like that, but all the other pages are from books. So I, I love that idea. I'm going to want to do that more. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, if anyone is interested in this beautiful journal, it doesn't have to be used as an art journal. It could definitely be a lovely, lovely junk journal. Um, like I said, my email's down below. You can um, email me about this if you're interested um, and let me know what country you're from so I can include a shipping price and hope this can be a lovely, sweet, special treasure for someone. I'm actually really, um, really happy, glad that I've, I've released quite a few art journals like this in various types. Like I said, I think I had two previous ones with the same fabric cover, but I've made other ones too. I've made um, collage covers and different types, but all in this same size. Um, I love this size. 
um, and made them in my art journal style with the blank pages. And I didn't actually think they would be popular at all because most people uh, like the embellished journals, you know, journals with sewing and pockets and ephemera and all that kind of stuff. So I was actually quite pleasantly sur surprised that these journals were quite popular. It makes me encouraged that there's other people out there <laughs> like me who like blank journals still with beautiful covers and interesting pages and all my favorite pages um but other people out there like me who like this type of planar journal um and i'm curious i'd love to know like how you actually use them do you use it as an art journal or do you use it as a writing journal maybe people just like the blank pages so they can add you know as much writing as they can or or do you use it as a junk journal i guess the other surprise i'm rambling now in this video but <laughs> um, another surprising thing is for me I like larger journals um, the bigger the journal the better for me I don't tend to like smaller journals the only exception is for art journaling um, so I guess that was another surprising thing as well I didn't know I thought maybe people would prefer larger sized journals like me but no there's quite a lot of you out there <laughs> who, who love the, the smaller journals so really really cool um, so yes, I am totally rambling, <laughs> but I'm really interested in understanding, you know, how I use my journals, what I'm drawn to, what I love, what delights me, what makes me excited to open a cover and fill up the pages. And I also really love hearing about that from other people. Like what kind of journals do you like? What style what type of papers what type of cover like i know i have my favorites i like hardcover journals multi signatures multi mul with multiple signatures <laughs> um big pages all the same size blank that is my dream um journal oh a big big a5 size so i'm keen yeah maybe i should do like a video talking about my favorite type of journal and ask the question like what do you guys like so fascinating because we all have like different styles and i know some of you are like i can't pick a favorite i like all types there's a type for everything but i definitely do have a favorite um mine are multi-signature hardcover large blank pages and <laughs> as i look at my shelf literally my whole top shelf has two four six eight ten ten journals on it and most of them are used and they're all the same hardcover multi-signature big blank <laughs> maybe i'll do a little show and tell of my personal favorite journals um if you're interested <laughs> we'll have a chat about our favorite journals uh yeah awesome i just love journals i love talking about journals and love hearing from you about what journals you like as well Wow, this turned into a much, much longer video. For those people who love my chatty videos, I dedicate this to you. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. A big thank you to my beautiful patrons supporting me in February. I really hope you absolutely love it there. If you would like to become a patron, the link is down below in the description box. And my Patreon is where you get access to the start to finish journal making series each month. Uh, sneak peeks and first access to all of my creations and depending on your tier level printable kits every single printable kit from my etsy plus a new one each month there are mail tiers and community tiers and all sorts of things uh, check the description box down below also for links to my courses for my journaling courses and creative courses places to find me and ways to contact me if you ever have any questions or video requests